So with one big last leg left, the teams have been challenged to come up with a signature dish as impressive as our California fried chicken here at Wayfair Tavern, my flagship restaurant here in San Francisco, California. And so the teams are gonna be off selling right now, but I thought it'd be a really good opportunity to show you exactly how my fried chicken is made. This is gonna be great. Hey everybody, welcome to our test kitchen. I'm so excited to share this with you. This is Matt Macera as our corporate chef. This is the room where our fried chicken was invented over 10 years ago. So I thought I'd walk you through what I think is one of our greatest recipes we've ever come up with. We're gonna start off with a brine. We have one chicken cut up into 10 pieces, one quart of warm water, one head of garlic we're gonna smash, and then one lemon we're gonna slice in the circles. And then we have our base flavor of our fried chicken, this herb mix right here. Sage, fresh thyme, and rosemary. We're gonna brine this for about two hours. So while the chicken is brining, let's go ahead and start working on both our buttermilk wash and also our flour coating, right? So this is a quart of organic buttermilk with two tablespoons of sugar, and then about two tablespoons of hot sauce. You wanna add enough to make the buttermilk pink. So we got two cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of rice flour. Then we're gonna add onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and pepper. Mix it all together, and I think this is the world's greatest fried chicken coating. Okay, so two hours later, our chicken is looking really good. We're gonna take our 10 pieces of chicken, and we're gonna transfer it from the brine to the buttermilk wash. This could almost sit overnight. Definitely let's set for at least a half an hour. So what we're gonna do, instead of just frying in oil, we're gonna fry the chicken in herb oil. We're gonna go ahead and fry our sage, our rosemary, and our thyme, and then when we're ready to fry the chicken, that's just gonna be an extra layer of flavor. It's gonna be super delicious. And we'll also use this as our garnish at the end to serve it up. Yep, we're not gonna waste anything. So what we're gonna do now is take a little bit of the buttermilk, and I'm gonna just roll it into the flour, and then we're gonna take the chicken, and then we're gonna coat each piece really, really well. All right, so the next part of this, which is arguably the most important part, and that's frying the chicken. So we've got the oil at 375 degrees. You don't wanna overcrowd your pot. I think about three to four pieces of chicken at a time. It'll take somewhere between eight to 10 minutes per round to cook this. Almost 20 minutes to finish the whole thing. Last but not least, we're gonna hit it with a little fresh salt as soon as it comes out of the fryer. And then a nice big squeeze of lemon right at the very end. Really brightens it up. Yeah, yeah nice and clean. Now you just stack it high and watch it fly. And that's it, folks. This is our world-famous fried chicken from Wayfair Tavern. So excited to share it with you, demystify the recipe. This is where the recipe was invented over 10 years ago. Still just as good, man. Mm. Mm. I think I've eaten my weight in this fried chicken, and it still never gets old. Never. For our last story this season, we're gonna go see one of the greatest chefs in San Francisco today, Stuart Brioza, and his brand new restaurant, The Anchovy Bar. Let's go check it out. Congratulations on this new place, Anchovy Bar. Yeah, it's great to have you here. This place reminds me of a tapas bar in Barcelona. Yeah, much of our inspiration uh, was taken from that idea. Small plates, kind of seafood focused, obviously the name Anchovy Bar mm -hmm. tells you a lot, right, about what to expect in the, in the restaurant. This place is like small, but it feels mighty. I mean, I, like, yeah. I, and I, I'm a big fan of mise en place, so you like see all this stuff just impeccably laid out. You can tell you're in for a treat. So you're gonna make a couple of like nice little tapas bites for us, and uh, we can't come to Anchovy Bar without having some anchovies. Yeah. Mm. You get that salty rush of the high fat anchovy. Mm. Tyler, basically we wanted to kind of create a toast that was like the avocado toast. Like what is California toast? We often get teased about it, but you know, it's because it's so damn good. The toast on this is kind of interesting too, right? Because it, it's warm through, but not overly toasted. Yeah, we're not going super big on the toast, yeah. you know? I like to rub it with a little garlic. So we just take a little bit of avocado, kind of 
pop it on. This here is kind of the secret weapon and all it is is fresh grated tomato with a little sherry vinegar and some olive oil. Yeah. And that's it, seasoned with some salt and pepper. Take these anchovies. The idea of this is this dish is just meant to just kind of blow your mind with freshness. Mm -hmm. Everything on this dish has to sort of really respect that freshness of the anchovy. And I do like to put some, again, little toasted garlic chips yeah. over the top because it just adds that nice this little... This is so Barcelona, it's, I mean, <laughs> it, but in a very inspiring way because like, it's one of my favorite food cities in the world. And, and uh, tapas is uh, a, a cuisine style that can be so fun and interesting at the same time. Yeah. Come on, that's beautiful. It's getting better, it's getting there. There's a couple of things it needs, which I think is just a little, I call it the high pro glow, right? The little olive oil, kind of liberal, and then a really good crack of black pepper over it. This is the namesake dish. The thing I love about it is, is that we're only doing this six months out of the year. I'm just gonna kind of rip out a couple other little small dishes. Yeah. So one of the dishes I wanted to do was something that looked like canned fish. So it's fresh mussels. They're steamed very simply, just in a little white wine. And then what we do is, is that we pickle butter beans. I love what my wife calls old man snacks, <laughs> right? When you go to the grocery store and you get, you know, smoked oysters in a tin. They're definitely the old man snacks. Yeah, I get it. Like, I love those things. So what we do is we take the cooking juices and then I just kind of puree it with a little um, scallion and parsley, very simple. We take a little lemon oil, so it really kind of glists, it's again, the glow, right? And then what we do is just kind of sprinkle the, the fish with a little of this umami salt, right? We call this garam salt. And so that's the dish there. We do a lot of fun little dishes here. So one is, is to do like kind of a, a noodles and clams or like uh -huh. a linguine and clam. Uh -huh. There's nothing here that's truly an entree yeah. and there's nothing really that's an appetizer. They're just snacks meant to kind of carry you along while you enjoy a nice bottle of crisp wine. I want to dig it. I love it. I'm going to go with the namesake first, right? We're going to start with a anchovy toast. I think so too. Mm. You just want to sit with it for a minute because it's like there's so much going on. And this is like a definition of, of fresh. Wow. Mm. Isn't it insane? And the mussels are just perfectly cooked. Yeah. Mm. But this dish to me really sums up the type of restaurant the anchovy bar is. Mm, so quick. You know, we chose to really focus on things that are like, you know, what I consider the heart and soul of the seafood industry, you know? Yeah. I love the juxtaposition and the play on linguine white clam, right? Linguine and clams, yeah. yeah. Mm. Amazing. Amazing, like, because yeah. it's so incredibly light. Congratulations on all of us. Thank you. You guys are just, like, <laughs> such valuable members of our culinary community here in San Francisco. Oh, thank you. It means a lot. I think San Francisco chefs season the country. Yeah. Yeah, right? that's I really, a good way of putting it. I really yeah. do. Yeah, I really I do. Love it. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Congratulations. Good to have you here. So good to see you. Yeah. Great right, to see you. You too. Right. Thanks. All right, teams. We made it. Our epic all-star battle of the bay is over. And gentlemen, in one of these two cases in front of me, it's $50,000 in cash.